You're listening to the Saturday Night Gaming Podcast, Convergence, run by our head GM, Scott Hibbard. Hope you enjoy. Welcome back to another episode of Convergence, presented by Saturday Night Gaming. It's all coming together now. Yeah, it is, yes. Very good. Oh, yes. It's all coming together. That's by definition what is happening here. (laughs) Cue theme song. Yes. Yeah, is there a theme song? song? (laughs) I don't know. We'll come up with something. We'll, we'll brainstorm. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you once again for joining us. Uh, we're going to go ahead and let's go around the room here since we do have a guest with us tonight. <gasps> we'll start with him as he introduced himself and who he, he's bringing to the foray. Oh, uh, I am Dan and I have... Given a ride to Slimefinger to help him get back to the ship. <laughs> Add more mana. Well, oh, it did require more mana because my gas <laughs> tank doesn't run on air. <laughs> Ours runs on crystals. Ooh. Or people. Yeah, that's a... Wait, people named crystal? You call that, what, a, a non-obligate crystal war? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> like a carnivore but it eats crystals but not obligate meaning it can survive on other things yeah, that is true yes it just prefers crystals yes y'all came for the egg for the entertainment but you got the education <laughs> <laughs> i almost said y'all came for the edutainment <laughs> Edu- edutainment <laughs> next i'm casey and i'm playing my kitsune uh asami Asami? Asami. 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 Not wasabi. I'll try and keep the name straight. No wasabi. <laughs> oh, okay. I was waiting. Okay. She's done. <laughs> I was waiting for her to finish. I had no, nothing else to say. <laughs> I'm Ronnie. Uh, I'll be betraying Grabnar the Grim tonight. He's... You're betraying? He's... <gasps> kind of gotten in a uh, predicament of himself by hurling himself into the void. Oh, fun. Go ahead. Let's see what kind of Grabnar we're getting tonight. Oh. It's not. Uh Oh. Is it radioactive, man? It's the void. It's fire. (laughs) Oh. Does he sound like a heat miser? I was gonna say, uh, who voiced Hades? James Wood. Oh, oh no! Now we have another fire person. We have so many fire people. We we're firefighters. <laughs> I'll, I'll help it's put fire it out. everywhere. And they were separated last time. Otherwise, yes. it could have been hot and cold. Yeah. <laughs> um, my turn. Um, I am Laura. I am playing Sky Captain Ari. Sky Captain who? He's uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I guess we'll we'll see how this goes. It's fine. It's, fine. <laughs> it's all fine. That's fine. Yeah, that's right. Because you guys um, used the Iron Maiden last week. That was pretty interesting. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah, that there's your theme song. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm Quinn, and I'll be playing Soul. Um. <clears throat> I was here for part of the experience. I don't know really sure what kind of trouble the, the game got in after I left. But I'm here. So this is this going to be fun. We are going to do the things. And I'm going to cause some trouble and tell people not to touch things. And then he's going to touch the thing that he told us not to touch. Do as I say, not as I do. Do as I say, not as I touch. Yeah, yeah, I tell you not to touch because I want to touch the thing. <laughs> Consent, please. God. 
<laughs> and I am Scott. I am the GM for this crew. And we are exploring the Temple of Terror. As it's been called the or Temple dubbed. Of terror too sweet to be. What? <laughs> <laughs> right, I'll tell you later. <laughs> Anyways, and where we left off, we had Mako, Gravnar, and Fedora 2. Who has a crown now, which is really interesting. Every time I hear crown Mako, too? I think of the Yu Gi Oh character Mako Tsunami. Does he make tsunami? No, he only uses like water slash like fish type Yu Gi Oh monsters. Well, Mako is a yeah. fish. Very tragic backstory for this character, by the way, considering yeah. he's like searching for his father who got lost at sea. Well, this one got cursed by an amulet. Aww. He's been searching his entire temple looking for the uh, cure for the curse, and okay. then he skipped from level one to five. Oops. Yeah. Waterfall did that. <laughs> Wee! Wee! Now he went through a void fall. That's right. You want to do a void portal. You could end up right back at the top. You could in the you poison know. gas that Ari just found out about. Yeah, only because I was told and we went in the other direction anyway. So Ari's like, "What? <laughs> Where? Where's the poison gas? Upstairs? Okay, let's go downstairs." <laughs> <laughs> That's not how gas works. <laughs> is it gas that rises or is it gas that sinks? Ah, that's right. How heavy is it, could, it, right? Yeah, if it's denser than air, it's going to sink. If it's lighter than air, it's going to rise. So far, it appears to be denser because it's traveling into the second floor. Okay, so we need to go faster. Right. And that's where you guys are. Um, Asami and Sol and Ari. You are heading down to the next level. <sighs> when? A very interesting occurrence happens. So, as you are traveling down to the next level, a portal opens. <laughs> That's right. It's purple. And it's Blocking your path down. I drop my sword. And then on top of that, it has a gravitational pull apparently because it pulls you into the portal. Okay. Oh, Am I also Yay! going into the portal? Yeah, you're actually at this moment you're a little flame. Yeah, you're a tiny little flame. You provided him light by turning into a little flame. He's a little pocket flame. Can I turn back into a person? Yeah, you can, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're just going to be a little flicker, flickering candle that light the whole time. That is better. That was a nice little map. Where are we? Oh, not again. <laughs> I don't want to go back yep. to this place. Or he's walking around, pocket flame. Ah! <laughs> it's just me spinning in their face. <laughs> Blowing <laughs> raspberry. <laughs> uh, then you, you appear in a completely different area. Room and everything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this one has dark moth texture as opposed to the light green moth texture too dark to even tell um i am freaking that's light. really dark that doesn't mean you're the right color of flame uh so as you appear all three of you asami uh soul and ari you're not alone as gravnar is here as well Yay! fiery Yes, and he <laughs> he looks like he's enraged. Wow, I can do that too. I'm not currently. Hello! <laughs> Wait a second, do? are you... I don't think it's possible for me to have kids, but are you one of my children? You're all... No. You sure? He does little finger things, like he's wiggling his hands like fire, and he's making the... Fire sound. In case you don't know what a fire is. 
Then what does this whole get up? You're kind of stealing my thing, and I don't really appreciate that. I'd say stealing your thunder, but... Yeah. I have thunder, you say so thunder? So funny! Uh, I've got thunder, You know, too. I had a... What was he again? My nephew? Yeah, <laughs> nephew. Sweet kid. His name was Ulrich. He, he had the cool lightning sword, I think. It was cool. Wonder what happened to him. Cool lightning sword. I hope to meet him again someday. Yeah? Wait, didn't he get murdered? <laughs> Wait, didn't I murder him? <laughs> uh, it's okay, he tried to murder me first. One day I went to sit down with all of my family and have a traditional Volotian dinner. Which will end with fighting and hurt feelings. And well, out of character, I murdered him. Ari did Did you murder the murderer? Well, Violet killed him. Oh, yeah. Oh, Ari, yeah. Ari didn't do it, and Ari doesn't know about that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Uh, Sub-Zero. Yeah. She went Sub-Zero on us. <laughs> Violet, finish him. <laughs> yes. Or, finish him. Uh, Violet wins. Basically, yeah. is exactly how that happens. Violet's like, by your consent. Yes. <laughs> so, whenever she does an attack, instead of saying, hello, can she goes, consent. Consent. Well, Violet was trapped in an ice prison for hundreds of years and then lost some of her runes, including the trust rune, and she became a little bit of a different person without the I mean, when you oh, can't force people was there for that. to do what to do with the trust rune, <laughs> so I guess when you can't force people what to do with the trust rune, I would also... So you would probably remember that name. Yeah, she was just, you know... If I was here. Yeah. Smoothing things over. Luckily, you appear after that conversation. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Because not only did, is Gravnari here, but you see Slimefinger, who is like pulling himself up out of the ground. Because this green, by the way, that you guys are seeing all around you uh -huh. is a fog. <laughs> and it seems to be coming from a cauldron that's sitting right here in the middle of the room. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Let's see the last room. And you happen to see Slimefinger has, has rejoined you guys. Cool. Oh hey! Hello. Hello. I don't know if I met you before. I don't think I saw you, but I know her. Yeah. Yeah. This one right here, angry lady. You ran off with the uh, doppelganger of mine. The too. doppelganger. Yeah. Oh, I am missing a lot you of things. You took her back to your um, patron. <laughs> Traveling around the cosmos, I guess you really, you know, you lose track of time. Uh, uh, <coughs> actually, I think you were there. Were you there? No, you were a different I was, character. I was playing uh, Oh, yeah, it was a different character. Mm -hmm. I was, oh, uh, let me just kill some. Yeah. yeah, because we ended up saving the people, yeah. and you yeah, didn't get to steal was, their souls. Because yeah. like, you're as soon like, as I rolled to do it, you're like, well, I'm saving them all. I'm like, <laughs> Except for that one person that he killed. <laughs> yeah, he's like, oh, look, everyone's saved. You, come here. <laughs> oh, look, everybody's safe except for this person that didn't make it. <laughs> Mysteriously, huh? Mysteriously, He says as he it, wipes huh? the blood off of his blade. <laughs> Don't know what happened to them. mouth on it just drinks the blood. Gross. Like a Slurpee. It's like Coca-Cola Slurpee. So, so what are we doing? How do we get out of here? I'm hungry. I want to go home. My feet hurt. Well, right now you just your vision's kind of obscure, obscured by the uh, smoke. Lots of green smoke. Ooh. Uh, soul is taking many breaths, trying to like um, blow the smoke away. Is it flammable? I would like smoke. to. Luckily not, otherwise it would have already. Yeah. Can I check the cauldron and see if it looks like anything that I would recognize from my lore? Go ahead, roll. Can you do Can something with that? Wind is or... a twenty-three. Oh, he wins. Like... Yeah, I have wind. Blow smoke away, maybe. I got a twenty. I can try. That would be greatly appreciated. Well, sir, you go over and take a closer look as you're holding your hand over your mouth like this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and you're, you look at it like, yep, mm -hmm. it's um, it's witch's brew. 
That makes sense. Mm -hmm. It's not toxic yet. Oh. What does it smell like? I go. S smells horrible, like. Like, don't breathe too deeply, even across the room. Right. I mean, it smells like, uh, you know, rotten meat and eggs and. Oh. Ugh. God. It's make, it can make you nauseous if you're in here too long, it's but it's not poisonous yet. It's I'm gonna since they smelt some cast like this. slime or mm -hmm. to put my mage armor on basically and what are you doing? Do have, have a mask fast? of it that Ooh. processes the air the before it lets just back into me. Summon an ooze and just walk into it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm ready. Okay, so how do we get out of here? That's what I imagine. It's like this. Basically, like ooze armor. Basically, what I imagine. Oh, like, yeah, it kind of just oozes out of me. Yeah. Yeah. Are those like um, stairs armor from? Yeah. Yeah. Similar to that. Yeah. Are those stairs? Yes. I'm, stairs there and stairs there. I'm gonna go to the ones on the bottom right corner and go up them. Okay. I'm just trying to, I guess, check out the area, see what's going on here. Oh, they're looking at the cauldron full of stuff. I just wrote down Frank and wine on my equipment sheet last time, and I'm trying to remember, is that that guy's blood? Like, what did I put in there? I think that was <laughs> yeah, his blood. Yeah, it was his blood, yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> you should throw it in the cauldron. Yeah, Listen. I got some I also have gargoyle wine that is actual wine from a gargoyle's she, mouth. She just started taking flask and just... And I have... <laughs> I have, quote, <laughs> spicy vision water. Spicy vision water? <laughs> That's true. Does it mean it's like sparkling? Does but I like... can't have healing water. Yeah, she's got the healing water. I don't have the uh, healing water. What do I see right. from my new vantage point? Well, the smoke doesn't rise up here. So on the I balcony... I can see my house from over here. <laughs> Just kidding. I don't live here. You can see <laughs> you have stairs over here that lead up. You can see a door that you're standing in front of. A door at the <laughs> end. On the other balcony, you see two doors and then a third door that's at the end of uh, the balcony as well. All right. I'm going to check the door nearest to me. The check the door check nearest the to you. Guys, I found doors up here. You you got to get above the smoke to see them. I'm going to go in one. Does the smoke rise? Or Can I try? No. It I... does not rise. It does not like yeast to roll. All right, sir, on this door, you find what appears to be a symbol. It's an octagon. Ooh, I, I wish I knew what an octagon was. <laughs> okay, so you see an eight-sided symbol. Eight? What is that? <laughs> if I remember correctly, in the OG game, like, Soul had, like, an intelligence of, like, one or two. He was not very oh, smart. yeah. He, well, he, he was raised in a mountain. He didn't need any intelligence. I found a shape. <laughs> It's a circle! What kind is it? Square! It's a circle square! It's kind of, it's kind of like if a circle and a square had the baby. How many sides does it have? Uh, it's a, one. It's a circle. Two. With a very low two. polygon count. <laughs> you, know the, you know the meme of uh, Jordan Peele sweating bullets? That's all right now. Yeah. I don't know how to count. Put them on the spot. No. <laughs> I don't know what I'm looking at. Guys, you're going to make me queasy up here. You're going to make me throw up. I throw up when I'm under lots of pressure. Well, I'm going, going on the other side. I opened the door. What exactly does Witch's Brew do? Drink it and find out. <laughs> <laughs> Grab a flash. Yeah, I mean, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm considering it. Can I do that? Go for oh, it. I was Witch's I'm gonna Brew. Yeah. <laughs> I was considering noodle. throwing things in it, so you should probably do that. I'm gonna do that now. It. Yeah, I'm gonna get some before <laughs> you start chucking things in there. But then after that, you can have at it. I just wanna take a little bit with me. Is that good? Do I have to roll for that? Or no, you don't have to roll for okay. it. Okay. Yeah, I'll take some. Oh, give me a pencil. I'm gonna write that on my equipment sheet. Yeah. Also, I think we all need pencils. All right, I'm gonna go through the door, Scott, go. if it's not locked. Wait, Wait Scott, take this. Ah, there it is. Pencils. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. Ah. Pencils all around. So I have one. Pencils. I could have loved purple. You stole the purple one. Yeah, Ooh. I'm good. Incoming. I'm not having a <laughs> all right. Um, let's throw it over there. Okay. 
Where do I have lead? Thanks, you gave me a broken pencil. Well, there's lead in there <laughs> rattling. All right, what do you do with this door, by the way? Do you just continue staring at it, or do you... Oh, no, I'm going in there. Okay. It's not locked. Oh, no, it's not locked. First, I knock. Hello, it invites pardon you in. the intrusion. Who am I kidding? I don't know what's man there. So. Does it have a doorbell? Wait, the door said, please, come in. Oh, cool, look, it's a little room. Is there a bed in here? Is that little shape over there on the farther wall? All right, so as soon as you <laughs> enter this room, I'm investigating that shape. What are you? The room, it's just, it's about a 15 feet high ceiling, so it's not too large of a room. But what you do find like 10, 10 feet in the middle of the room there, as you can see, oh, cool. what is, is a black leather bound book. <gasps> It's large too. It's like a tome. It's large size. I'm going to kind of look around the pedestal and see if there's anything weird. I'm going to pick up the book. As you step towards a book, you notice the wall behind it appears to be skeletons. Mm-mm. Oh, look! It's a bunch of dead things that look like they're falling. <laughs> it's like they're depicted as. So is it like just carvings of skeletons or actual bones? No, it's actually bones, and they're placed specifically like that. Uh, yeah. I'm going to pick up the book. All right. I'm going to start calling up. Hey, guys, I found a practical looking book up here. I don't, I don't know how to read, but... Good, don't know. read it. <laughs> I'm open the book. I don't. I don't know how to read, but I can sound out the words. No! The, the, the lit. L- little duck. Oh, it's just a children's <laughs> story. Don't worry. It's a giant toe. So, it C. says. Jane as Ryan. you go to pick up the book, it comes off of the uh, pedestal with no issues. Everybody dies. However, when you try to. Does it make know, a clicking sound? No, no clicking, nothing like that. Okay. So, yeah, you have it in your hands and it's just. Well, I mean, it has a little clasp on it holding it, you know. And you're like, hey, I got a book. Cool. Large hey. book, a tome. Bet they can use this for firewood or kindling. <laughs> and it's written and it has language on it, um, <gasps> which you don't understand it because you can't read that language. Oh, darn. Oh, well, I'm going to bring it with me. Mm-hmm. Bye, skeleton men. I hope you don't fall forever. That would suck. Does Can he tell what language it is or just... It's, it's a language that he doesn't know. Yeah, he just has no idea. He has no idea. Right. Yeah. So as soon as I exit like, the I room... I can't read Korean, but I know what the letters look like, you know? Right. Yeah. I exit the room and I inform That's them that they found the book, but I cannot read its contents. Um, you said there's another one at the end of the, this path? Yep. I'm going to go ahead towards that, and then I will <laughs> relinquish and let someone else do something. So it's not all about me. <laughs> so you go down to the, the far end Yeah Oh by the way uh, There's some stairs So the, the stairs that I'm seeing in the back side Does is, is that lead down to the ground floor Where they're at Which stairs? The stairs at the very back <laughs> These? Yeah uh, No these stairs lead up No I mean but does it go when you co- If you were coming down would it end yeah. Right where the green yep. is Okay yeah, exactly. There's also stairs in the very back of the room. But please don't leave me here by myself. It's like somebody ported you here. I want to go up the... St- not that stairs, but... The, the side uh, adjacent other, to me? Yeah, the other side. All right. Look, and it's you and me. We're like the hard... So over here? Yeah. All right. You find a door. Grandma loves doors. Ronnie and I are like the Hardy brothers. <laughs> Now, you, sir, soul, what you find at the end there is a square shape a on the door. Shape. Oh, look, it's a square. No, that's him. I'm going to open the door again. <laughs> open the door. You find a hexagon. A hexagon? Yes. So that's a one one higher than the numbers you can count. Because... <laughs> <laughs> Only got five fingers on one finger. Grab our counts, he starts back over. Five. One, two, three, three four, five. <laughs> what kind one, of door is that? It? It's a stone door. Oh, okay, never mind. It was a wooden door. I was just going to punch it. 
I mean, you, you can, can still, punch, still it. punch it. I mean, I've had great success breaking stone stuff. But he just walked through the other door, no problem. <gasps> I bet it's locked. <laughs> would he, right would he punch oh, he walked it through anyway? the door. <laughs> 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 Should have been more specific. Oh, boy. <clears throat> He's angry. He wants to hit something. Oh. Do it! But if you turn the door knob first, and he's going to hit the door. Oh, no. Go for it. We all stand back. We, I think you guys are like, me and Hammer are on elevated pathways, and yeah. you guys are down on the ground. I'm going to give you this chip. <laughs> <laughs> Ronnie. <laughs> no. No, not for a door. What did you do? Okay, y'all are in the same room. I think you would want me to use a chip for this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I go nuclear. <laughs> He's done it before. Twice. Damn, twice. <laughs> on my character's face. He's what done what that? on your face? Okay. Done nuclear. Oh, okay. What is this, That's what we're calling it now. Yeah. That is going to be a... Oh, oh, oh. God. <laughs> 15. Okay. <laughs> and... <laughs> fire. <laughs> <laughs> that fits. Your axe hits the door. Sends cracks going through it. And then all of a sudden the fire pours into the cracks and then boom. Do we hear the explosion? Yeah, everybody hears it. What is that? Who's fighting? What's going on, guys? Hello. I bloody hate doors. I hate them. Uh, did you break the door? Be gentle and they'll uh, open up to cool you. Very cool of you, man. Don't what? be breaking stuff <laughs> over there. Doors or dwarves? <laughs> uh, oh, I don't know. Whichever. <laughs> I mean, how, okay, so from one end of the room to the other end of the room, how big is it? Oh, is, it is it is it enough just like where we could still talk if we were speaking? Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay. Now, uh, so while the smoke <laughs> clears for him, ringing. you're sir the square room because no one's around. As you <laughs> enter into this lovely room. Okay, I gotta actually show you what it looks like. I'm going to. You may actually you. want to see what it looks like. Going to find all the like a bunch of torture devices at that. There's the room. Oh, look! It's got the weird hey. diagonal shape. You're gonna love this room. It's your favorite game. As you step into there, you see flying sheets of what appears to be paper. Me? Yeah. Oh boy. You know, like what's in the tome? You know, those large parchment sheets. Flying all over. Can I take out the tome and try to open it? In the room? See what yes. Happens. Okay, I do that. Because now I'm curious to see if the pages come flying into the tome. Or you can just snap you it try to on like Venus fly trap. open the tome, and it will not open. What? This is bullcrap. <laughs> what is this? Hello? <laughs> Book! Open! <laughs> you have to, like... Stroke its spine. I uh, hey, pet the spine of the table because it's green. <laughs> Who's a good leather bound thumb? You're so beautiful. And then get Release your hand back before it fights. Clasp open. <laughs> Pretty place. Maybe you just have to be a little rough with it. Wow. No. <laughs> Can I try to grab a page? Sure. Make a roll there for yourself. Yeah. See if you get a paper cut. <laughs> uh, what is it? What is that? Could I use physique or... Nah, it won't be physique. It'd be like uh, something to reflexes. <laughs> athletics, something like that. Uh, well, I got a 16 regardless. Oh, yeah, that's good. You grab a page. You thought you could get... Ow, paper cut. <laughs> Show you a page. I kind of... <laughs> kind of like this whole one really good. So you grab a page, and as you do, you start... You can actually read this one. Whoa, right? Cool. Yeah, it's actually written in uh, of Lotion, actually. Whoa! Wait a minute. <laughs> you can read it very slowly. <laughs> I don't know what's scarier, a book I can't read, or pages of Lotion text just floating around in the room. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I read. But, it is a spell. <gasps> spell. Definitely read that out loud. <laughs> a chew... Ahu Kalimbe. 
Do you read it out loud or do you? Uh, I'm gonna read it quietly and just see like like what's the what's the name of the spell? Oh yeah. Uh, so the name of the spell is. Hold on a second. Um. Is Gazutite divine? No. Of the sun <laughs> <laughs> no. The spell is uh, firebolt. Oh, oh, this is pretty cool. Maybe Seems don't like accidentally cast Something it. like I would do definitely up my alley with the whole fire. It also means that you don't need it because you can cast fire at any time. But then, uh... I tuck it away and try to grab another one. <laughs> tuck it All right, make another roll. Reach out to grab another one. That one flies out. <laughs> uh, 15. You do Jeez. grab another one. This also the lotion? Uh, it is, yes. I keep breathing. I've lost and my from family. the room, they hear the giddy little laugh whistle. <laughs> Alright. Pretty cool. Light. Oh, I don't know that one. That's pretty cool. What is it? You should probably write these down. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Hold on a second. I don't know why he's going to be like, ah, uh, here you go. <laughs> so. Random page go. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it feels like. Did we hear him talking to Pages. <laughs> no, because he's being very quiet. From a spell. Book. Yeah, he's, he said he's reading them quietly to himself so that he. But, like, I did say, like, they could probably hear him, like, laughing, get, like, laughing to himself a, a yeah. little bit because. It's, right. Like, he's excited, like. You, you, he's you hear that. He found pages containing what is now a dead language. So it's like. Uh, Literally, because Malice is no more. Right. <laughs> he said Firebolt and Blight. Blight. Now it's you like just need to find opening a pack name. of Pokemon. Cards. What do you do next? <laughs> I'm going to keep grabbing <laughs> I'll Go for the third. All right. That's a natural twenty. Nice. You grabbed two pages. <laughs> oh, oh, cool! I forgot they had two hands for a second. Whack. <laughs> yeah, like, I Hello, have two Lefty. Hands. You, you didn't fail me this time. <laughs> All right. Soul's not ambidextrous. He's a right hand on He reads them. Fog Cloud is one of them. Oh! That's very fitting. He's not sure if he wants to share with the class what he's finding. <laughs> Guys, they're like giving away spells in here for free. <laughs> Did you actually say that? Or? <laughs> no. no. Okay. What's the other one? Arcane Lock. Whoa! Oh, that's good. But then, after you grab that final one, all the pages stop oh, and then it. fall. Do they like, start turning to ash and like decaying? No, but as you see, as they start falling to the ground, you see all the words on them just start disappearing. No! Quick, take a mental snapshot. He's crying. He's like, my language! As he's trying to grab as many as he can, as you grab him, you see all the letters and everything all come off the page. It's just blank parchment at this point. <laughs> but you do hear this next. You hear, uh, it sounds like stone moving. <laughs> I run back to the door. Is the door closing on me? No, it's not. There's a pedestal that's in the center of the oh. room that rises. And on the pedestal is a square block, like stone block. I know better. I'm so curious. <laughs> what would soul grab? <laughs> you grab it, nothing happens. Oh, oh, thank God. There's no clicking sound. Wait a second. <laughs> no clicking. Is this like a paperweight? It shakes it. Does it make any matter? And now he has paper for his paperweight. <laughs> <laughs> right? This paperweight doesn't work very well. I the leave with my, with my folded yeah. up papers in my pocket. This is why the pages were flying around. They didn't have their paperweight. And my <laughs> new fancy paperweight. <laughs> oh, la, la, la. <laughs> Hello. All right. Uh, Grabnar. Yes. As the smoke clears... You enter into the room. You see a six-sided mirror straight ahead. A six-sided mirror? Yes. 
and it's sitting like right on top of a wood shelf. And you were going into the room with the square on the door? Who? Hexagon. Grabnar? Hexagon. Okay. Hexagon. Yep. And you find on the shelf five unlit candles. And they're covered with black sigils. I sneeze to light them on fire. <laughs> All right. Roll. All right. What's everybody else doing, by the way, while they're doing this? Oh, I was getting ready to try and drop some ooze into the witch's cauldron. I think it's the back. It's going to be 20. Get to that in a moment. <laughs> Hmm? 20 altogether. 20? All right. Well, you successfully light five candles. <laughs> it's like a reverse happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> now, did you light all anything, five of them? Anything happen? Nope. But what you do see is that there's five candles with the candle holders, and there's six slots. One of them's empty. Oh. Is there another candle in the room? You can investigate and find out. <laughs> no, he's not. There's no other candles in there. Oh, okay. It's not as bad as I thought it was. Still not as great. Do you head to the other side, Soul, by the way? Uh, well, yeah, I'll go that way. It's 12 for reception. Twelve. Well, after pilfering around, you do manage to find the last candle. I'm going to do something I swore I'd never do again. Solve a puzzle. <laughs> I'm gonna put the candle on the other end and light it on fire. All right. And as soon as you do, you see the six-sided mirror start changing. Mm-hmm. Looks like the glass becomes this liquid. Mm-hmm. You can still see your reflection, but you can tell that it's a liquid surface now. Grabnar kind of... Yeah. (laughs) Grabnar (laughs) looks um, behind him, looks to the sides, kind of smirks. (laughs) All right. Puts his hand through the liquid. So as you walk by the room, you see this because he destroyed the door. Just gonna let you do that right there. <laughs> I'm going to the next door. Just scream if your hand starts to melt. <laughs> so you reach in there and you feel like this cool, um, kind of like a feeling over your arm as you put your arm, put your arm through, and it just starts covering your arm. This liquid does. Mm-hmm. And then you notice, though, that as you do that, like you reach in and then you can feel there's something behind there. I grab it to pull it out. All right. And you do. And as you do, the mirror returns back to normal. And the candles go out. And what you have is what looks like a stone hexagon piece. Oh, gracious word. Hey, look, I found the shape on the door after I broke it. <laughs> um, I might not want to destroy this one like I did last time, because last time I did that, there was uh, poisonous gas. Are there any more rooms? Yeah. Yes, there are. So wait, okay. the, s- like, the things on the doors, stuff. are they shaped? To the point where you could put the items into them, 
Or it's just like a drawing on the doors? It's just a symbol on the door. Okay. I'm surprised no one's checked them into the witches' brief. Uh, Check what? Uh, the, the cubes. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm about to start throwing things. Yeah, I know you're yeah. gonna start throwing. They're, they're gonna see you throwing things, and they're gonna say that, that they want to throw things. Asami, do you want to go check the other room? Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh no, my head is gone. <laughs> Don't worry, all will be revealed. Hold on, you're getting ahead of me here. <laughs> Not a good time to lose one's <laughs> head. I couldn't help it. Get in there, soul. Okay. Ah, I don't want. I don't like being put in the tight spaces. All right, first soul. Since we're going up there. All right, soul. What you find on yours is a pentagon. Oh. Hey, this is when you can actually count. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, I'm five. <coughs> Three, sir. <laughs> no, five. Okay, I go in. What is this room? So, <laughs> you picked a lovely room. Oh, gosh. Don't say that. Because <laughs> as soon as you open the door and you walk in, this amazing smell just fills your nostrils. What is, like amazing? Are, like, are we talking like good smell? Mm-hmm, okay, yes, because cool. yeah, you just came from all that oh, terrible rotten God, stuff smell. It smells like a field of flowers in the air. Mm, oh, no, no. Is Better yet. Wine? Think what? of the best Velocian meal you've ever had. Wait a second. This is weird. And then that aroma fills your nose. Oh. I've been drooling. <laughs> And instinctively, you follow it. Okay. And as you do, you follow it to the back of a room here. Which, it's very interesting. Because this room here seems to be covered with glass. Okay. Yeah. Floors, the wall, all of it's covered with glass. And then, of course, you see where the source of smell is coming from. Because you've got two benches right here that has, like, a feast prepared for you. And there's also is mead. Food? What kind of food? Look, like, that are, like, roasted chicken and pork and beef and potatoes and bread and cheese and vegetables. Mm-hmm. Soul loves his vegetables, especially Brussels sprouts. They're like little baby cabbages. They're so cute. I love mango crunch. A little bit of salt and pepper and butter and garlic. Mm. <sighs> Wait. So you're actually gonna roll a d20 for me? Huh? Roll a d20 for me. Ooh, I got an 11. Okay. Do I add anything? No, you don't add anything to it. Okay. But what do you do? Uh, a feast has been prepared for you. And there's mead over here as well. The only thing strange about this room is the glass. Is the glass. Yeah, because the glass is in shapes of triangles. Triangle pieces of glass that are put together and just all throughout the room. Walk lightly. Going to try the mead. <laughs> Soul is so hungry. He's so thirsty. Alright. Roll for Zeke. Just hope it's tempered. <laughs> uh, 18. Alright. 21. 21. I roll another d20. Uh, 3. Alright. Did I go. Did I have disadvantage with that? Did no. I, okay. No, you just you're drinking the mead and it tastes better than you can even remember. This is this is what the mead of a dead planet tastes like. <laughs> you don't understand. I know you're not in the room, but you don't understand. 
This is the me that will never be made again. It is literally. And yet it was. And yet it's here. This doesn't make sense. But it's so good. What, you don't have the recipe? No. Maybe Ari has the recipe. Ari lived in Valor for years. What else do you do there, Sol? Uh, I'm going to try the food. All right. Roll for Zeke. Uh... <laughs> Hopefully it's better than what I was going to get. He uses one on the door. You use no! one on food. <laughs> How'd you do? Eleven. Eleven. <laughs> Roll another d20. No, no. The bread was real crunchy. Thirteen. All right. So, you're tearing through the food and it tastes better than you even remember as well, just like the mead does. Uh-huh. And then, it's as if someone just tastes like scales off of your eyes because all of a sudden you start seeing the room as it actually is oh, no. what am I eating? <laughs> first of all the mead you look at it and it's this thick sludge no. and then what you have right there in front of you is maggots and flies all around gross and it's in your mouth mm, you keep eating the maggots <laughs> Well, because it's like, no, for real. This is a guy who used to eat the ashes of his enemies when he, when he like, incinerated them. So, like, he's not too grossed out by eating maggots. They're a little squirmy. Mm. Slimy yet satisfying. <laughs> oh, you succeeded well enough to avoid any ill effects, though. But what you did find in the middle of it is a stone triangle piece. Oh, I picked it up. Luckily, you didn't bite into that. <laughs> I kept the tooth. <laughs> or five. Asami. Mm-hmm. All right, you. Let's see. Once you that, da, 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 da. you find uh, actually your door is a triangle. The door is. Okay. And of course, as you walk in there, you see a cylinder encased, encased in like a crystal. And there's light coming from the top of the ceiling. And it's shining down onto the uh, the crystal, and it's like a prism. Okay. Inside the prism, you can tell there's something trapped inside of it. But you can't... Not <laughs> that was horrible. <laughs> but you can't tell exactly what it is. Okay. What do you do? Um, I try and... Shatter with the crystal, I guess. With uh, my lightning. Mm -hmm. Go for it. Uh, Sixteen. Sixteen, all right. I'm using this, by the way, because I don't trust those. (laughs) Well, McClay used that last week, and it didn't really do well for him either, so. Uh, Go for it. So, yeah. uh, Yes. Well, you let loose lightning, and it strikes the crystal, Mm -hmm. and then you see it actually start ricocheting off of the crystal as it hits parts of the room. Make an evasive roll. Uh, acrobatics. That works. Nineteen. Nineteen? Mm-hmm. Succeed as the lightning bounces around you 
And you notice when you look at the walls that there's little prisms as well that seems to be bouncing from this uh, cylinder, hitting the prism on the wall and it's bouncing all around. So it's keeping it going. And it's still going. I'm sorry, voice out of the a void of disembodiment. Void what did voice. you say? <laughs> Use the full <laughs> Check your blood sugar. <laughs> Check your blood sugar, Luke. Um... I guess instead I'll just try and smash it with just like a sword. Go for it. Nine. Nine. Yeah. Well, what does lightning bolts hit you? Mm -hmm. As you attempt to strike the prism. Ah. You can roll uh, armor. Switch. Four. Plus, uh, I think it's just four. Four? Uh, although okay. I have uh, natural armor picked up twice. I don't know if that means anything. No, you already got it with the four. All right, so you take three damage. Okay, I actually do need to put my gas meters. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> There's a gravitational pull over there. It's just, no matter who sits over there, every time I throw it, it just goes to one spot. <laughs> I'm telling you. That's where you used to throw it. <laughs> How many did you say, three or four? Three. Okay. And what do you do next? Um, I yell out that, hey, I need some help in here. Grabnar? Soul? Oh. Grabnar hears that and he's like, oh. What do you need help with? Mashing but not destroying. I run over there. <laughs> I feel like that rules us out. <laughs> All right. You're in Trance's room and you see this uh, crystalline cylinder. All right. Smash, not destroy. <laughs> Does not compute. <laughs> you just like he, see the heard the word, wheel turning. <laughs> he heard the word smash and the word destroy. No. <laughs> No, no. <laughs> All right, so he's not using the axe to smash it. He's just going to smash it with his fist. Fire fist? Yeah. Grab bar, mash. Or not. Do you have another favor? Grab bar, knuckle bleed. <sighs> I'll use the favor. <laughs> what is it with you guys and animate objects? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Can I help or no? No. Okay. Seven. Oh, excuse me. Sixteen. Sixteen. Yes. Well, your flames successfully destroyed the crystal. <laughs> As you punch, hurrah! And then you just send the shockwaves all throughout the crystal. <laughs> But luckily, the thing that was inside of it is untouched. I grab it. All right. What is it? It's an object. It's a penta. Oh, yeah, pentagon. A stone pentagon. And hey, Grabnar, you look at yours. Hey. I got something similar. I have a shape, too. <laughs> I walk right past him. 
and mumble thank you under my breath. Gardner's like, shape. <laughs> <laughs> Is there another room we haven't looked in? No, it's all the rooms. Okay. However, Slime Finger and R. Yeah, we're just hanging out. Downstairs. You're at the, the witch's brew, uh, right? Slime Finger is working on a way to stop the noxious gas that's filling the room. Yep, she's already filled her flask. Yeah, I've got mine. So. And Slime Finger <laughs> has decided that the best way to take care of what's creating, what's probably creating the noxious gas, is to dissolve it with acidic ooze. Wait. Go for it. I said wait. In character? Yes. Well, he was doing this while you guys were in the room. That's oh. kind of happening. Yeah. I was I already so. walking back, though. But, but okay. this was while y'all were going yeah, to. This was the during oh, okay. that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, I'm basically planning to fill the cauldron with acidic ooze. Sounds like alchemy. That's a 14. Nice. Yep. Well, you start seeing some results. Okay. As the gas starts being released slower. Excellent. Then I would probably pour some quintessence into it to make it stronger. Add more mana. Add more yeah. mana. Yeah, he's adding more <laughs> mana. Go for it. That's slime finger. So, just basically recast the same spell? Yeah. That's a 22? Oh, yeah. You've stabilized a whole witch's brew. <laughs> You've made this weird concoction. That was a liquid, but now it's slime. <laughs> it's a science experiment. <laughs> um, you don't know if it's acidic anymore. I'm assuming I didn't have to roll this. No, you didn't. For have that to. spell? No. Okay. But, uh, and the gas seems to clear out. So by the time they finish with the rooms, you can see clearly now the fog is gone. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> you can see all the stone objects in your hands. Mm -hmm. You want to know what else it revealed? Yes. Dun dun dun! A green door. <gasps> It was being obscured by the fog. The green door. The green door. It's actually right there in front of Slimefinger and Ari. It's mm. right there. What would you like to do about the green door? Ari? Wait, so that green, I is that gas? I thought that was grass at first. Nope, it's gas. Okay. I would like to You're inspect in. the green it's door. It's grass without the R. <laughs> Your grass is gas. What's this? <laughs> Can, can I investigate the door? <laughs> you can. Okay, I will do that. My you don't even have went, to roll for what? it. All right. So okay. as you go and inspect a nice green door, it's a nice green ornament or ornate door actually. So it's actually made of jade. Ooh. Yeah, it's very pretty. But also it has five slots that happen to be shapes. Oh, we should probably look around the room and see if we can find any shapes like that. Yeah, that's. Uh, so by this point, Soul and Ra oh, Ragnar, Ravnar, <laughs> and Asami all enter the hallway as into the balcony. This is like a literal child's toy with the, the thing How's it where you going, stick the shapes into it. Did y'all find anything interesting down Square here? Square peg, yeah, we found this. Hole. We found this door that we need some shapes for, but we need to go find those shapes. What kind we, of shapes? I've got two the shapes room. here for you. I got Shape. the, I got the uh, <gasps> a, a, a square and a yeah, triangle. The, those look like them. Y'all should put them in the holes that they match. That sounds about right. I go over to the one that looks like mine and put it in. I do the same thing. <gasps> All right. Roll for it. <laughs> Roll for initiative. <laughs> so you all together put in four of the five. Where's the what, where's the what's the last shape? It's the shape of love. <laughs> the last one is an octagon. 
<gasps> I run back to the door. I I look yeah, which inside the, the witch's broom. Yeah, I run to the to the, the witch's door. cauldron. Is I try to. I actually recognize that shape. I've fought in plenty of those. <laughs> I'm gonna try to pop the symbol off the door. <laughs> Get off of there! I know what you are. It's. <laughs> I look inside the cauldron. Wait a second. I, I guess I go inside the room with the symbol that has the matching symbol as the door. You do, and you find there was this uh, pedestal that had something on it, but now it's missing. I hand her the book. It's not an octagon, but this is what I found. I take the book. Can I have it back when you're done? Um, I might be dead when I'm done, so I guess we'll see. <laughs> if I'm dead, you can have whatever you want. Oh. Chances are you won't be getting out of here either. <laughs> If if y'all do get out of here with my stuff, I'm sorry, get my stuff. So, all of you are in my will as long as you die with me. <laughs> so I guess I open the book. Well, you tried to open the book, but it's closed, and the clasp will not budge. Oh, what does the clasp look like? I help. It's what? I help. Uh, one second. <laughs> so <laughs> you're downstairs yeah. digging in the witch's brew goo. It's it's leather as well. So it's a black leather book. Okay. And uh, but when you look at it, you can tell that the language you understand the language, the language of the demons. Oh yeah. <laughs> I knew I should have brought this. <laughs> See, <laughs> but anyways, uh, what it says on there though is uh, roughly translated. It says, you know, speak a uh, key word, you know, and the book will open. Speak friend and into. That's demon, so. Uh, <laughs> Speak lemon and into. Speak So darn we need cursive. a keyword for the book, in other words. Mm -hmm. um, do we see anything clue like around the room? At the back of the room here are what appears to be actual skeletons, mm -hmm. but placed in different positions as if they're falling. Okay. I will have a look at them. Do they have anything on them or seem to be positioned in a certain kind of way or anything to that effect or yeah they are positioned quite differently kind of mm -hmm. like different levels like there's one up here there's one right here there's a couple that there's one actually laying on the ground mm -hmm. you know and they look like they can move well you know they are articulated so <laughs> um okay so we have some skeletons um, are they wearing anything or carrying anything or? Nope. Just bones. Just bones. Yep. No bones about it. <laughs> no bones. Okay. All right. Let's see. Fake bones throw no stones. Is it a riddle or is it a puzzle? If it's a puzzle, you need to move something or do something. If it's a riddle, there's an answer in what is already here. Soldiers over there agree. He's like, uh-huh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yep. I don't know what you're talking about, but okay. <laughs> That's no language I've ever seen, and I've seen a lot. Have you ever seen void speech? It's a lot like cursive writing. It's just very confusing. Lots Speak of loops. the keyword. So you see them kind of walk into that room near sign finger. I would probably just, out of curiosity, yeah. say the word keyword just to see if it means <laughs> anything. The key is key. Like, speak friend I, and enter, and you just say friend. I lean into the book, and I say, omelet du thomas. Oh my god. <laughs> Get him out that of here. That is always the answer. I would uh, go and Well, try to... nothing happens. Do you like to roll investigation? Yes. Go for it. Thirteen. Okay. Well, you notice that even though the bones can move and the skeletons can move, mm -hmm. they can only move in specific patterns. Okay. So you can't just remove it and then put it somewhere. You actually have to just move it along like it's oh, embedded it's, in grooves. It's like the... It's like on tracks or something. Tracks, yeah. yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I would be heading in there. Mm -hmm. 
What do the tracks look like? Are they shaped in a certain kind of way? Uh, well, I mean, various ways. Do they spell Y M C A? It does not. Oh, okay. <laughs> but from what you can tell, not all the tracks are used. Okay. So there's multiple tracks that you can move it to, but every time you do, it leaves a spot open. Mm. So it's like it's intended that way. Okay. I used to do these. They're like little slidey puzzles. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so you said that each of the skeletons is positioned at different position of falling. Yep. One of them's down on the ground, one's in mid-fall, mm -hmm. and one's up top. And then you, they can move along these tracks. Do they move where they are all even with each other? Like, can you move the one that's down, move it up, or move the one that's up, move it down, or anything like that? Do they move in Like, that can way? we get yeah. all three of them to be on the ground? Yeah, you can. Maybe let's try it. Yeah, I think we should try it. Yeah. Are y'all making the skeletons go night night? <laughs> We're making them fall because this is a demonic looking bug. <laughs> and obviously the way to the master of a demon book is to fall. So Soul should <laughs> fall onto the ground. Soul should recognize this because he spent some time fighting against oh, that was void creatures, never mind. <laughs> that are kind of they're like different. <laughs> yeah. All right, they uh, are same, same, so, but different, but still the same. But different. as you do that, you notice as you kind of put in position that some of them look like they're like trying to make a word, hmm. but obviously in this position they don't make any kind of legible. Yeah. Word. Can I? Can I roll investigate to try and see? what word, word it would be that they're supposed to be making. It's like that scene in The sure, Incredibles where he's in the cave and you have to angle it just the right way to see the word that gave it meaning. Yeah. It's a uh, 20 total. Alright, yeah, so I got a 13 before. I don't think you can tell based upon the shapes and number of pieces that it, there is a word that these bones are supposed to spell in its six letters. What was the exact wording on the book that was saying how Speak to Speak blank and Speak. I wasn't in the room whenever y'all read it, yeah. but speak blank and what? The speak uh, was a keyword and open. Roughly. Do the skeletons shape out that keyword? <laughs> Possible. So. <laughs> yes. Oh, come on. Hmm. It's my favorite episode. The bones, they spell a thing. You said they seem to be shaping out six letters. Where's Jacques? Well, the, there's no shape. I mean, there's enough bones and there's no spaces for six letters. Okay. Right now, it's just a jumbled mess at the bottom. Yeah. Because we moved <laughs> so let's, the yeah, let's right. move them around so that one skeleton takes up each letter slot. Are you ready for this? Yes. Oh, no. S R E I N D. It is friend. Friend. <laughs> Wait. The room says cage. I know what the key word is. Nicholas. No. <laughs> Nicholas Cage. He's uncaged. <laughs> All right. Top phrase right there. <laughs> Make a roll. As you try to maneuver around this. Uh, uh, you can utilize, you can use your plus two. You can use whatever you have available. 16. For what? To investigate. To, yeah. Um, 16. 16? <laughs> yeah. Great minds think the same. Yes. <laughs> All right, with a 16. Uh-oh. 
not supposed to throw it all the way over there. You get the first one. Woo. F. <gasps> Friends! What is <laughs> right? Fiends. Uh. You can make another check and try to figure another way when you move around. Natural 20? Asked to. Natural 20. All right. Well, sir. I thought you gave it a favor. Two L's. (laughs) Where? Directly in the middle. Fallen? Fallen. Yeah, that's that's what I thought. I mean, you can, you know, go ahead and place them all in there, or you can make a roll and... Try to get more letters is up to you. I mean, when you're summoning demons, it's usually a good idea to be specifically correct. I mean, yeah. Otherwise, you get lemons. Are we the the kind of people to be specifically correct? Though? I am not. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we'll give it another shot. I can roll. I I went fifteen. Now nah, I got a seven. <laughs> you have an M. It does look like Fallen. I'm going to solve the puzzle. (laughs) (laughs) Or are you going to buy a vowel? (laughs) I'm going to solve the puzzle. puzzle. Fallen! I like to buy a vowel. It's going to cost you blood. As I slap my hand on the book that she's holding. (laughs) Fallen! (laughs) All right. And I'm going to pump some quintessence into it. He actually does know it, yeah. Okay, okay. Slime Finger actually does know. I'm going to let him hold the book if he's going to pump mana into it while I'm holding it. Just as long as you don't use the devil language instead. (laughs) Oh, I forgot it's a different one. (laughs) Oh, But yes, you do that, and as soon as you say that and your hand smacks the book, you know, you see this um, green energy course through the book, Mm -hmm. and then the class opens. And then the book itself opens. Mark off that quintessence. And then it stops on a page. Uh huh. And then it has more uh, writing, which essentially it's a spell. Mm. I There's re- no name to the spell, though. I read the spell. Silently to yourself, hopefully. That doesn't sound like Slime Finger. <laughs> And my wisdom was very low the last time I looked at it. So we're going to read it out loud. He's reading the spell out loud. Um, or probably you? unconsciously pumping mana into it, because that's the thing he does. So you I, read I it out loud. Did. Yeah. And as you read the spell yeah. out loud, the book catches fire oh, in geez. your hands. More fire. And then you just let go, and it turns to ash. And as it does, it reveals a stone shape. Another one. Yep, which is an octagon. Luckily, I was wearing my slimer. The slimer, yeah. So I didn't get burned. I pick up the stone thingy. Hmm? And I go, ha we found it! And hand it to Ari. Yes. You do notice one more thing. So it turns out that on this depiction on this wall of these skeletons, uh-huh. there what appears to be a skeleton that's engraved, and it looks like it can fill in with some something, you know, like uh, liquid or some kind. And he happens to be hanging there from a tree. So we're supposed to fill it with the witch's brew that I already dissolved. But you see that on the wall after you guys have... Obtain the. Uh, Didn't object. somebody I still pick- got a flask of it? <gasps> yeah. Smart of you. Yeah. Um. I guess I can. I can give that a shot. Um. I guess. I would. Yeah. Let's go for it. Well, there's nothing. There's no way for you to actually pour liquid into it. Oh no. Like it looks like the liquid comes from somewhere else. It came from outer space. <laughs> like a nineteen fifty four. Oh. So somebody needs to. Put this object in the door while somebody else is waiting to melt the skeleton whenever it reanimates. <laughs> All right, I will go put the shape in the door. The this is a task that I can handle. But where does the liquid go? I am preparing. Where does the liquid go? 
acid fall <laughs> for the entire wall. Hmm? I am preparing an acid fall for the entire wall as soon as that skeleton starts moving. <laughs> Alright, do you guys go back to the green door? No, I watch the skeleton. Um, I'll take the, the shape back to the green door. <laughs> so you watch that, I'm over here. I have the feeling something's going to, like, rise up out of that door or something, but I guess we'll see. All right, so you put the last piece in. As you do, you hear the sounds like moving gears. Large oh, moving sounds. gears. <laughs> clicking sounds. <laughs> I knew it. And then click. <gasps> resounding click as it echoes throughout the whole room. Mm-hmm. I'm watching very closely. A skeleton. What do you do? Uh, did the door budge at all? It hasn't moved. Can I see if it will budge now? Yes. I will do that. Should I push on it? You can. Yeah. Or pull on it? Or I do? You push it. The door in the room oh. went dark. You go and you push, and as you push, both the doors freely move. Nothing happens, by the way. Oh. Well, what's this about a liquid? I have liquids. I have like four of them. Should I melt it and come with you, or...? After close investigation, you start messing with the skeletons, uh -huh. and you actually put intentionally one of them wrong. And as you do, you notice... <laughs> There's a voice speaking Here's to you. Here's what I found, he says. <laughs> the skeleton speaks. <laughs> <laughs> well, you notice that when you do that, you hear clicking. And then red liquid drop drips down into the crevice and forms the head. But the head only. Ah. And that was when I did it wrong? Yes. On purpose? Yes. Okay. Are you going to tell us what happened? Hey guys, I got some liquid into it. <gasps> liquid? <laughs> it looks red. I'm collecting liquids, apparently. <laughs> you better come collect this then. Yeah. All I had to do was make the letters wrong. Alright. Yeah, I, I would go investigate that. Alright. And you find exactly that again. Yeah. He walks you through it. Make another letter wrong. Yeah. Alright, you do that. And then this time it goes down a straight line. So now you got the circle and then a straight line. Oh. We're making a hangman. <laughs> if we fill it up, we die. Probably. Probably. You, you think we should stop? <laughs> Maybe we should stop. <laughs> okay. I... Don't want to waste the mana that I spent on casting this. So I'm going to melt that wall. Just for fun. Just because. <laughs> you know what? He's like, I've already Modern prepared art. this spell. Uh, acid spray on the wall. <laughs> Dude, you're, you're destroying someone's art. Well, Flashback hey, a thousand the art years was ago. Gonna, gonna someone's destroy like, us, so. man, it took me 18. It took me years <laughs> to make this. You melt it. All right. They won't be able to hang us now. <laughs> yes. Just coat it in acid. <laughs> Becomes unrecognizable. <sighs> and then the door closes. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> acid spray again. Do you guys go back to the main room now? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, I love throwing stuff like that out there. Just <laughs> random. It's like, yeah, I, I drag a slime finger out as the acidic cloud of dust fills the room. <laughs> we don't need to breathe it in. Yeah. No, no, no. Oh, don't worry. I'm already wearing my mask. <laughs> he is. Yes. So, my mask. I'm gonna step away from the group a little bit, and uh -oh. I'm gonna very like sneakily try to look at the pages that I collected. I'm gonna see if the writing is still on them or not. They are. Okay. Okay. Yep. <laughs> we all walk into the room, and you. Souls reading. <laughs> Soul? No reading. He stayed back <laughs> while we were all walking in. <laughs> you know. All right. So as you guys enter back into the main room, 
you have the doors that are freely opening. Okay? So you open them once again. And then a spirit appears right in front of you. Thank goodness you have freed me. My skeleton is in the other room. <laughs> no. Grabnar knows this one. Uh-oh. It's the little girl. Oh, bloody hell, it's you again. Oh, thank goodness it's not Bobby. <laughs> she she sees you, Grabnar, and she goes, Yes, it's you again. I'm so glad I found you. I would be careful. <laughs> where you're going next is where Grandfather is. Well, that's not, you know, just, wow. <laughs> just, <laughs> woo! Would you remember, Grabnar, that he's the one that decapitated her? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then separated her spirit from her body. Mm. And that trapped it. Gruesome. Rude. So what you're saying is there's a fight downstairs. Mm. She says, he's not happy. I start running downstairs. <laughs> I follow the big guy. And, and you kind of just run through her. <laughs> and she goes, well, she says, I recommend preparing yourselves. To everybody else but Grabnar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I run behind Grabnar, but I duck around her instead of going through her. Because ghosts are icky. <laughs> but you've got the slimmer on. Yeah, but ghosts are still icky. <laughs> they get through it. <laughs> Alright. Maybe I should light up my swords. <laughs> it might be a thing to do, actually. For preparing ourselves. If you want to. Yeah, I'll probably do that. Grabnar's already ahead of me. <laughs> <laughs> I sigh. Shing. The two people who use chaos are going there. <laughs> Slimefinger's like, I'm ready. <laughs> I will follow. You have my sword and my axe and my flame. So the guys basically just charge forward. Whee! And the gals are hanging back like, <laughs> maybe we should prepare. Where? Is Grabnar with us? Oh, he's a head. Grabnar's already yeah. way down the Grabnar, wait! Where are you going? Asami? Yeah. What do you do? Prepare. How? What do you do? To prepare? Well, I mean, there's not really anything for me to do except for Run my downstairs. sword automatically does what it needs to. Mm -hmm. So. You can prepare an action, right? So, like, the, if this happens, I do this thing. Well. Or are we not technically in combat or anything, right? I mean, yeah, I mean, you could, but it's kind of, it's hard to do that right now, because that's, like, your next action, basically. Oh! Mm. Well, I guess that would be, like, if yeah. somebody jumps out at me, I'm ready. Yeah, it could be something like that. Yeah. I could cast Mass Slimer. You could! Do you have that, like a that uses slime an extra quintessence? Mm, yes. To do that? Yep. I will do that for the entire group. So Sami goes out there next. Yeah. Are you leading up the uh, caboose? Sure. I've think, got thunder and lightning. I think 15 ought to be enough to <laughs> apply a buff to my party. Yeah. Y'all aren't, right. aren't contesting that, Maybe are I should you? do wind if you're doing fire and lightning. Sure. Yeah, we've got fire. I'm I'm doing thunder and lightning. Like fire. They've got fire. The people with the yeah, multi-elemental so. weapons kind of make people who only focus on one element <laughs> a little... like. You know, I mean, it's cool, redundant. but I also take damage every time I turn on my element, so... <laughs> I don't, because like, it's natural. Yeah. So, the armor in the system... How's that? You roll it. I rolled a fifteen. Oh. Oh wait, you're you're slimmer, by the way. 
Yeah. Um, no, the 15 is successful enough to get everybody armor. But no, um, the armor reduces damage. So with your armor, you actually get a plus two. So you roll your d4 and you have plus two. So everybody gets plus two armor, basically. Mm-hmm. So whatever they roll in their armor rolls, they get plus two. Nice. So. So all of you feel a little bit slimy, but you feel more protected. So is everybody prepared oh. and ready? Yeah, I sure. think so. We did not heal at all during this whole thing, right? Should we all um, take a swig like, of the healing water or something? Or? That would have been suggested if half the party didn't already run out there. Asami, you're back here with me, right? Can I wish for your healing water? <laughs> uh, sure. Cool. How much does that heal? So, if I needed it. How much does the healing have... water heal? Well... Oh, it heals you roll your hit die. Okay, my hit die is twelve. If I roll a one, I'm going to be very sad. Your water is getting low, by the way. Your healing water mm-hmm. is getting low. Water's getting real low. Twelve. Hey, I win. Big guy. That took me up to like. <laughs> your water's getting low, big two. guy. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Do you think I can make it back to that fountain? Not before we have to actually face something. Yeah. That's on level one. Yeah, that's way back there. You don't even know what level we're on right now, actually. Because we were teleported to this level. Yeah. Grab not really know where he's at. Judging by the numbers, we're deep, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's higher than this. <laughs> These many. These many. Everybody ready? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Why not? I almost threw all of my dice on the floor. Don't do that. Uh, do do that. Feel free to adjust me here on uh, where you guys want to be. I followed Grabna. I'm just kind of placing you, so. So I should be standing between Grabnar's feet. What? Hold on. There we go. (gasps) Oh, that doesn't sound ominous at all. Skeleton gate. Oh yeah, I'm sure that's fine. <laughs> it's it's fine. there's there's it's a sign. Fine. At, there's a sign at the bottom of the stairs. Now entering skeleton gate. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Welcome. Goodbye. Please leave all flesh at the door. <laughs> there is no take back seats. What's the toll? A pound of flesh. No, or about all eight. Of it. <laughs> all of the flesh on your body. I mean, I don't really, I have flesh, but I'm covered in fur. And slime. I mean, technically we are covered in skin, but I don't think that's going to save us from them trying to slay us. (laughs) Or flins us. Which, I believe, is a word. All right. Got to actually zoom out a little bit for this one. It is, and I used it correctly. All right. Is this where you guys kind of want to line up as? Grab Nora in the center. Oh, that's pretty cool. So that you guys. Feels like home. So are those actual tentacles? Well, I'll, I'll tell you in a second. I just want to make sure your lineup is good. I don't want to stand Should on the tentacle. That's fine. Yes, the, the tentacles right now. Okay. Dude, these are bridges, though. Gotcha. Oh no, I see the word phylactery. Oh no. I don't <laughs> like this. You don't have to worry about this thing in the middle either. But we have to do worry about this. So, which would you be my as you enter into this room, mm-hmm. you oh, see lava. Accessories to each other's characters. I'm just lava right here. Yep. And the lava, as you look down, it's about 100 feet or so into the lava. Mm. There's bridges that run here. 
in the center where they all connect into, you actually see what looks like a cradle, a device. And in the center of this device is this black orb. And you can see it giving off energy mm. as it tries to expand, but then the device contracts it. Yeah. Wong, wong. And then at the far end, beyond it, about one, two, three, four, five, uh, 40 feet away, you see like a little balcony. And this blue portal appears. Mm. And then a figure walks out of the blue portal. And the portal closes as he waves his hand. And you see him. And he has a staff. And you can tell his clothes look very archaic and old. You can see he looks very old and his skin is stretched and he, he looks very much undead. He, bring, he sets down his staff. I'm like, I got one of those too. <laughs> I got a stick too. I wonder what this ring does. I gotta stay too. Still haven't found out. But to use it? I was slap it a couple times. Let's see. And the staff, by the way, has a skull on top. Mm-mm. <laughs> and you see there's a uh, chaos rune that's engraved into the skull. We've got the guardian against chaos. <laughs> right? Welcome the bell to me. Yeah. And then uh, he puts his hand on the, the balcony there as he looks and stares at all five of you. And he says, Trespassers, all of you. Yeah, that's all right. What if I told you I lived here? <laughs> <laughs> You're the trespassers. Get off my You're dog. trespassing on my land. I've seen the Volotian writing. Did you steal from the from the people of Alos this information? He says, This temple is older than even you. Wow, that's pretty cool. Not, not a lot of things can say that. <laughs> How old are you? You never ask a woman their age. Can <laughs> <laughs> right. we verify it was female? Woman? <laughs> <Not>. <laughs> and he says countless. I have lived many lifetimes. Oh, look at me. I've lived many lifetimes. <laughs> well, this is the lifetime where you get your ass kicked. Let's do this. <laughs> he smiles. Uh, as he taps his the, staff. The, the and, and you notice as he taps his staff, like, all of a sudden, you guys see, like, uh, flames all okay. along the, you know, walls and everything just start... Turning on. Oh, like torches? Torches, yeah. Now, the room that we're in, are those ledges headed towards the phylactery rooms? No. These right here that you see, that's, that's the, the slope. The slope, okay. The bridge is the only way to get to those rooms. Or teleporting. Correct. <laughs> and the balcony also, there's really the only way to get to the balcony is... Teleport. Gotcha. Or flight, if you got that. Uh, I think too or toss them like a dwarf. Let's find out. Well, that's fun. What's everybody's initiative? Your ten. sir is um ten. 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 I get two twenty. Initiative is what again? What is its base? Ten. 10. Yes, yeah, so I don't you have, have any no modifiers. Sir? 12. Oh, imagine that. Uh-huh. No surprise, sir. Grabnar goes first. And then he goes and everybody else goes. Okay, so Grabnar is throwing his axe at the old man. Go for it. Wait I hope it, it comes back Wait, like a boomerang. Yeah. <laughs> Good. <laughs> <laughs> Goes through oh, wait, hold on. Is uh, that a. Uh huh. 
Okay, thank God it's a seven, not a one. Oof. It scared me. Still not good. <laughs> uh huh. What was that total? Eleven. Uh, roll of eight. Fire. Oh, you can roll for your element too. For you, you can change the element again. Oh, I can change my element yeah. again. Everybody well, possibly. Let's see what happens. Okay. Nuclear. Oh no. <laughs> Everybody roll physique. Kidding. I do have physique. Fifteen to dodge. All right. What was your roll on the element? On the element. For you. I haven't rolled that yet. I was wanting to see what happened from the dodging. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> I'm frosty. <laughs> We've got all of the elements now. We've got like fire and With lightning and thunder and wind. Right. And you see, Grevnar, he just changes like the flames ooze. embodiment. Just changes to cool <laughs> as he as the axe leaves him. Like he channels all the flames into the axe as it flies towards him. Everybody, stay cool. Stay frosty. <laughs> and then you see the cold just kind of replaced. <laughs> So he channels so much heat into the axe that he actually turns himself into sub-zero temperatures. Look, yes. Are you doing it? This is chaos. Yes. You're doing it. So you oh, throw the axe at him, right? Mm-hmm. He taps his staff, and then a portal appears, and the axe goes through the portal, and then the portal reappears right behind you. Ah! <laughs> yeah, as you turn around and quickly grab the axe. I'm just kind of... Just like grimace and point at him. <laughs> this was supposed to hit you. All right. So now his turn. Oh no. Grabnar. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh make a physique. Oh man, I've just been using this one die this whole time. Let's see if it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's in jail now. Oh? It, it's rolled badly twice in a row. It's in jail. Oh no, sir. Four plus two, that's six altogether. Oh! <sighs> hey, yeah. Not token on the floor. So, what you see next is. You see his staff start glowing with this green energy, and these runes just start appearing on the staff. And then he appears to take the runes in one hand, and then basically flicks them towards uh, Grabnar. And then those runes attach themselves to Grabnar. So now Grabnar has these glowing green runes all over him. You're glowing. No. Nah. What have you done? <laughs> All right. Now, for everybody else, you guys can kind of decide your turn order there. Um, if you want to go left or right, you could. You know, on here. If you guys want to go here, like slime finger over. Make slime the finger. little man go first. Now, I don't. If we got to those other rooms that have the pots or whatever in them. Yeah. Can we see him from those rooms? Yes, because this is the balcony right here. So it would make sense for me to try to get a little bit closer so that I don't have to cast as far. True. So I will try to do that. Good old-fashioned teleport? I'm thinking about it. I'm also thinking about reaching out and grabbing anybody that wants to come with me. Me. Yes. We just have to be touching. Cool. I'm for it. Anybody have to get closer? Asami, Ari. Sure, let's You have my consent. (laughs) Everybody but Grabnar? Or Grabnar too? Oh, oh, Grabnar wants to come in for the kill. Um, Okay. So, he just flung glowy things at him. He's not happy. He looks like a rave right now. So, <laughs> Scott, yeah, it's I'm true. looking at the Convergence uh, <laughs> docs. <laughs> <all the way laughs> I, I don't see those spells that I found in there for Fireball, Blight, Fog, Cloud, or Arcane Lock. They're not in there, yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm just trying to figure out, so what does Arcane Lock do? Is it just like a magical lock? Or yeah, basically. 
Next time he opens a portal, what about lock it on the seven digit like, <laughs> like necrotic damage. Yeah. Or like that. Which will do nothing to this. Da. <laughs> so, All right, time to burn it. So I reach out, grab Grabnar, and hey, right, make a circle. Basically, hold hands. Yeah. Da, da, da. Yeah, we learned <laughs> about circles today. Circle. We're learning shapes. We're learning shapes. Hey, you can make a pentagon. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Okay. We learned what that is. So, it's got this many sides. Are we coming out of the portal? And then he makes a pentagram on accident. Oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's a 25. Well, teleport. fantastic. Um, that was nearly a nat 20. I have. Previously, had to pull on the table for that spell. Yes, you do. Go ahead. Oh yeah, now that's active for sure. <laughs> what else happened? Thirty-three. That number sounds familiar. I'll move you because you guys did teleport. Viking ray, ray Viking. It sounds familiar. Vikings never left this world. They just got addicted to rave music. <laughs> <laughs> All um, right. This specifically only hits the caster, so that's good. That's for a reminder. I am polymorphed into an ooze for four turns. Do you really? Uh huh. Oh, All right. Uh. So he gets everybody together in a circle, and he just focuses and he channels tremendous amounts of magic going through him, and poof! Everybody appears on this balcony, and then as soon as the spell completes, you see him just turn into goop. I basically <laughs> lose cohesion and. Whoa. Whoa. Yes, Whoa. and that's exactly what happens for four turns. Not again. Oh. Uh, so, oh. once, <laughs> once we, uh, what's the distance between us Get and your D4 now? counter, I got it. Oh. <laughs> Do it. How far is that roughly between that us and him? Well, Asami's um, got a wind magic. Maybe she can launch someone over there. About 30 feet. 30? Yeah. You can try to jump. I could have. Well, uh, what I was gonna do was as soon as we came out of the portal, I was gonna wings. like, since I'm probably other than slime finger, I'm like the next shortest person here. Mm-hmm. It's gonna like spring off of his shoulder and like create a huge fireball and just hurl it at the whole area where the dude's at. Sounds good. Roll it. Let's see what happens. Oh. Oh no! Natural one. Is that no. natural one? No. You, have oh. a, you don't have any favor. No. Oh, who rolled a nat twenty earlier? I didn't I give did. him a favor. Uh, both the him and Laura. Unfortunately, can't. Oh, I also anyways. actually, yeah. I did roll a nat twenty earlier. You did. You did. Laura did. Yeah, did. Yes. Well, you we can go ahead and cash it in. Okay. Uh, did roll didn't for you? One. I don't. I don't think I did. No, I she think did. he rolled uh, a nat. No, one. I got I don't two. Think I did. Well. <laughs> No. Oh well. Two is not a critical <laughs> failure. That is true. <laughs> oh no, my fire! Where'd it go? It just went kaput as opposed to backfiring. You, you, you slipped yes. off of Grabnar's back. <laughs> <laughs> so you throw the, the fire at him. As you do, he basically just holds his hand out and like catches the flame and just dissipates it. Oh, that's not cool. See if you can catch me. I saw me. <laughs> Send me over Next. there. Next. Who comes out of the portal? Uh. Me, I guess. Yeah. Go for it. While he's doing that, you can attack. You think you can he's launch busy me reacting or both to of a us over to him so I can hit him? I want to stab the guy. If I have uh, enough of a good roll, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Use the wind and throw you both? Yes. Yeah. Go for it. Roll it. Now, what are you using the wind? Are you using the wind off of your sword? Sword? Yeah. Well,. How is that going to launch you as well, though? You might have to, like, aim it. No, think... not launch me. Just launch her? me? Her. Yeah. yeah. I thought Let's you'd take it. launching both of you. No. Okay. All right. That's fine. Go ahead. 
all of a sudden Captain Ari's doing the I am this guy Captain Ari! <laughs> oh man! If only Mako was here. This is the <laughs> yes, this is my moment. Oh he missed Sharknado. <laughs> <laughs> How's uh, How's an eighteen? Oh, that's good. 18 works, so 18 over you launch her over there, and now it's up to Ari to actually make contact. Yes, I will do that. She gives you the opportunity. I have my Now we'll see out. whether you fall in the lava or not. I don't want to fall in the lava. Do I have to spend a full So how do, how, what do I have to roll at this point? We, uh, would you have to roll? Yeah. Uh, the tor target is 16. Oh, Jesus. Total. Okay. 16 total? Total. What am I rolling? Your, like rolling to strike? Yeah. It? yeah. Okay. Just your weapon strike. Okay. <sighs> Wait. I think, am I raging? I feel like I'm raging at this point. Yeah. Let's let's do that. Go ahead and spend it and rage it. Yeah. Spend it and rage. That is a 24. Well, I believe that's greater than 16. <laughs> Last time I checked. <sighs> Unless it's inverted. By We're half. checking our math a lot this game. <laughs> <laughs> By half. You got the first strike on him. Yeah, I guess I, I need to start rolling damage and stuff. Right? You should roll damage, yes. Okay. So and which one is it? Uh, did you strike him with both of them? Yeah, both of them. Alright. Let's go ahead and give it to me separate from all, like, you know, roll the damage and then... Because you roll them separately, right? I'm... Um, for the two weapons? For the elemental damage. For the elemental damage. Yeah. Roll separately. Right. Yeah. Um, and then for the two weapons, you just roll it twice and take the highest. Right. Okay. So. So. Here's. I gotta roll this one twice. That's a 10. That is also a 3. So <laughs> they're both a 3. <laughs> um, and then I have a d4 for each of them. Oh, it's plus 2. Okay. <laughs> Plus two melee damage uh, for raging as well. Um, so and then let me get my D four out. Ah. And then. And then thunder. Hiya. Yeah. Little thunder, thunder little plus lightning. Plus two thunder. Thunder. And. Thunder plus captain. Plus two lightning. Okay, so I'm doing all the same damage. Two thunder, two lightning. Two thunder, two lightning, uh, and five melee. Thunder captain. Go. Yeah. Dropping my dice. I'm trying to make sure I didn't miss any bonuses. I don't think I did. <laughs> Ouch. What happened? He's absorbed all of it. All of it? Yes. Come on now. So as you strike him and uh, you notice that, you know, similar to Slime Finger, he has like a protective barrier around him. And unfortunately, your attack doesn't penetrate the barrier. However, you do notice this though, just so you know. The lightning doesn't seem to be as effective. Hmm. Seems to be less effective than uh, your actual sword strike and the uh, thunder. Okay. Mm -hmm. But you have got his attention. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> As he just sneers at you. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Convergence. If you did, be sure to head on over to our website at www.saturdaynightgamingllc.com and check out some of our other cool games. Also, make sure to like, share, and subscribe on all of our social media platforms. I hope you have a fantastic week, and until next time, this is Laura Hibbard with Saturday Night Gaming signing off.